Okay, so just to go over the wiring first, we have this uh, three volt from the ESP32, which is going into the potentiometer. Uh, I would have put it into a rail, but I ran out of wires. And then the ground goes into the ground rail, which shares a common ground with the uh, cathode of the LED, uh, as well as the ground pin for the potentiometer. And then for the LED, it goes into pin 33, which is just a GPIO pin uh, with a PWM output. Uh, and that goes into the anode of the LED. Then we have, I chose A2 here, I think A2, A1, actually no, A2, A3, A4 maybe, uh, all work, and that's for ADC1. Uh, and I believe that's pin 34, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that just goes into the potentiometer, well, the potentiometer uh, output pin. And yeah, I think that's it for wiring. Uh, the button is obviously an onboard button, uh, SW38, pin 38. So now I will run my program. And upon running, it will go to the default uh, duty cycle and frequency, as well as prompt the user for um, the date time specified in the format. And I'll just enter the date time right now to get this started. Okay, uh, and as of now, turning the potentiometer doesn't actually do anything to the LED will still be flashing at the, its default values. Upon one switch press, uh, we'll be able to modify the frequency. So I have my ranges from 40 hertz down to one hertz. And then pressing it again, we can modify the duty cycle. And I believe this can go all the way to off, yeah. But it will still be flashing at its default frequency. And um, when you press it again, it goes back to modifying frequency. And then once again, back to the duty cycle and so on and so forth. Uh, and it also has been keeping track every 30 seconds.